hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we're discussing about video settings in zoom so first of all open your zoom application on your computer so i just opened the application here and click on the settings option here and a window will be opening like this so here we have already discussed general in my last video you can check out that video i will put the link in the description or i'll just um, uh, put the playlist so you can watch all the videos in the settings part so let's click on the video so once you click on the video your um, webcam will automatically turned on I just uh, disabled my webcam that's why uh, you cannot see me all right so uh, let's uh, see what are the options we have available here so here you can switch between your cameras if you have multiple webcams on your com on your laptop or on your computer you can just switch between your camera that right now there is only one camera integrated camera on my laptop and I don't have any external webcam connected so that's why it's showing camera so if you have more than one camera you can just switch between your cameras for the video uh, purpose in the meeting and also you can check original ratio which will be uh, the default ratio on your laptop or you can just click on uh, HD where it will be switching to the HD mode automatically so let's um, normally we'll choose with the HD if you have sufficient internet speed you can go with the HD option otherwise um, it will be slow comparing to the um, because the uploading speed has to be good in if you're choosing this HD option here and here you have option to mirror the video like switching uh, the videos opposite like you can see here I have just uploaded one picture for your for you to understand so you can just mirror the video according to your requirements touch up my appearance so it will improve the uh, appearance on the screen even if it's your face or something uh, it will improve the appearance you can just uh, uh, choose the corresponding appearance level you can make it maximum or minimum according to your requirement you can even test it and you can adjust for low light automatically if it's uh, the light is not proper you can just adjust it you can see here automatically some settings are going on because I'm I'm sitting in a uh, dark darker um, environment also or background that's why it's uh, automatically trying to adjust or you can just switch it to manual and you can adjust it here like uh, minimum to maximum all right so um, that's the option we have available here and here we have option like always display participants name on their video so what is basically is doing uh, it will display the participants name on their video so whenever they are on the meeting you can see the name of uh, the participant in that video and you can you have option like turn off the video when joining the meeting automatically so when you're joining the meeting uh, the video will be automatically turned off and you need to manually turn on the video after you have set up everything so this one it will be a good practice if you are uh, not ready for a meeting but you need to join that's that's why they have given this option and the third option is always show video preview dialogue while joining a video meeting uh, this basically doing a preview will be shown to you before when you are joining a video meeting so you can see how is it looking like and that will be good to understand the um, um, correct position in your in your video so you can adjust to the webcam and everything for uh, you to understand uh, better you can position your camera so this is a good practice showing a preview and you can also hide non-video participants if you don't want to show the people who are not showing the video you can just hide them see myself as the active speaker while speaking like uh, you can check this option if you want to see yourself as the active speaker while speaking uh, it's only applicable when you are speaking so if the other people are speaking it will not um, consider you as active speaker here we have uh, an option like maximum participant displayed per screen gallery view you can see here uh, 
it's disabled because the CPU on computer only supports 25 participants per screen gallery view. See the article displaying participants gallery view for the minimum requirement for this user's feature. So basically, uh, the CPU requirement is there. I'm using um, i3 processor, um, a low spec laptop basically. So that's why it's showing 25 participants. I cannot switch to 49 participants. But if you are using a good spec computer with i5 or i7 with sufficient um, uh, CPU speed and everything, then you can switch to 49 participants. So this fine 25 participants are fine, and even you cannot see 25 participants in in a good clarity um, if if you are using a small screen. So basically, you will need a bigger monitor to see all the participants in a good way. So that's fine. 25 participants are fine, but if you have a good spec computer, a good CPU then you can uh, see up to 49 participants um, and click on advanced I think it will take me to the um, web version of settings I will not ah, okay that's fine uh, it will show me an additional option like optimize video quality with denoise like uh, if you want to uh, optimize the video quality uh, with denoise it's better to have keep it on Basically, this one it will enable software-based noise removal to improve the video quality. So I prefer, uh, I recommend you to enable this option. It will be enabled automatically, so don't uncheck this option. Use hardware acceleration for video processing, receiving video, sending video. Make sure you uh, enable this hardware acceleration so that uh, the computer processor will give uh, preference to this uh, particular application. For the application. Um, We'll keep it on as it is will not change it anyway video entering method you can uh, choose one of this method like you can put direct 3d 11 flip mode or uh, but once you choose you have to restart the zoom application to come into this effect normally i will just put it on auto so that uh, it will the application itself will determine the best um, video entering method and video entering post processing here also you can uh, click on enable if you want to post process the video otherwise I'll just keep it on auto and video capturing method as well you can choose one of this option like direct show or media foundation I will not change this one as well it will uh, I'll put it on auto because uh, the zoom can uh, understand which is the best settings for video capturing and rendering and processing so this is all about the video settings in zoom and i believe this video was helpful to you thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye